Most intros are in fact trash, so let's just get straight into the video. You guys do have sarcasm on this earth, right? Spider-Man Far From Home is the latest movie to enter the Marvel Cinematic Universe and features our protagonist, regretful TikTok star Tom Holland swinging through Europe and destroying priceless European architecture as any good American does. Spider-Man proceeds to do battle with three elementals in three different countries when he could have been doing battle with three big wheels, but John Watts has no idea how to craft true cinema. Far From Home stars Tom Holland, Zendaya, Jake Gyllenhaal, Samuel L. Jackson, Marissa Tomei, and Jacob Batalon. This will be a spoiler-free review, so don't get your dick in a twist. No, this is where you zip it! Alright, the adult is talking. This was the next step for Spider-Man. I was really worried based off the marketing that they were gonna regress his character, but man oh man, I'm glad John Watts has a basic understanding of thematic progression. Oh yeah, John Watts, give me some more of those hot and steamy character arcs. If they fucked up Peter's character arc, I would be giving Far From Home a negative review, no question about it. Directionally, John Watts makes a lot of very good choices, however I do think it lacks some sort of technical or visual style as John puts a lot of his style into the humor. Ultimately, I just really appreciate how cohesive his Spider-Man movies feel. It feels like the first two movies in a trilogy, more akin to the Cap trilogy, not the Thor trilogy which is just kinda there and it's all over the place. All the actors are giving really good performances for the most part, Mr. Musical.ly himself gives a performance that's even better than Homecoming, which is weird because I think Colin has more dramatic moments in Homecoming, but he hits his moments in Far From Home with much more intensity. Tom Holland is making everyone else look like a Disney Channel actor with just how in touch he is with Peter Parker. Speaking of the Disney Channel, Zendaya is doing some good stuff. I think she could stand to be a little more dynamic, but that's a very minor complaint. Oh fuck, not only have I complained about Far From Home, but I also didn't tear it to shreds within the first minute. Guess I'm gonna make no Spider-Man fan happy now. Zendaya and Tom Holland do have some incredible chemistry, and I gotta give them that. Jake Gyllenhaal is pretty great as Mysterio, and if you put a gun to my head, I think I actually prefer him over Keaton's Vulture. Sam Jackson is doing a stand-up job as well. The action in Far From Home is top-level stuff. It's got some thinking behind it, it's got some creativity behind it, it's got the old web shooter feeling a little sticky, if you know what I mean. It can feel a little fake at times, but I never felt like my immersion was broken at any point. There is some sequences in here that will probably be among my favorite MCU action scenes, no doubt. It's not like Captain Marvel, so you can actually see and appreciate the hard work the stunt coordinators and fight choreographers put into this. The music is surprisingly pretty good, and I definitely appreciate the more authentic, country-specific music in something like this, but that's not to say the actual score wasn't bad, because it definitely wasn't. I could definitely lose my virginity to this score and not feel ashamed of myself. Lastly, this is an actually funny MCU movie, and the humor definitely holds up on rewatch, which is a big problem with these movies nowadays. Watching this makes me realize just how unfunny the Ant-Man and Thor movies really are. You don't want any part of this. Hey, so, uh, Ned, he's in this movie, right? Right? Y'all y'all, remember Flash? Betty? Betty? Y'all know Betty? What about J.B. Smooth? Y'all know J.B. Smooth. What about an extra from Iron Man 1? You, kn you know him. You know who I'm talking about. Y'all like side char char characters? You want side characters? Let's give you some side characters. You know how Spider-Man 3 had a villain problem? Far From Home managed to have a side character problem. I mean, holy fucking shit. There are so many different people in this movie with noteworthy amounts of screen time. It's just distracting from the main plot. Flash could be cut entirely. I like the teacher, so keep them, cut Betty, cut Brad, like fuck, we don't need this many side characters who are fucking given nothing to do or have no actual purpose in the plot. From a technical perspective, this movie can be pretty bland from time to time. A lot of the cinematography is lacking outside of a few key scenes. John Watts handles the character drama extremely well, which is what keeps your attention, but he's gotta find a way to make his movies pop a little more visually. Assault my senses, please and thanks, you fucking coward. I also would have appreciated some more unpredictable elements. Far From Home can feel a little cookie cutter in terms of its plot progression and overall feel. I mean, I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, sir. Overall, Far From Home is a movie that I keep enjoying more and more every time I rewatch it and think about it. It's a pretty entertaining ride with some good substance. Spider-Man Far From Home is a 7 out of 10. Attention passengers, sorry to take over the video, but there are spoilers ahead. Please exit the plane if you have not seen Far From Home. Do not take a parachute. Thank you. Whoa, 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 please don't put your eggs in me! Good, now it's just us cool kids because those losers probably don't even have tickets to see the Sonic movie. 
in theaters next year. So just a few things I want to discuss for spoilers. The Mysterio hallucination sequence is probably one of my top five moments in the MCU. It's so beautiful and haunting. It takes a lot of balls to throw some shit like that in a comic book movie, but I'm super glad it was included. Jake Gyllenhaal can torture me with visions of my own failure anytime and any place. Tom Holland's performance in that last confrontation with Mysterio is simply spectacular, and I've been using the you can't trick me anymore line with my friends whenever I have the chance. The Peter Tingle stuff was funny the first two times it was said, but when he's confronting Mysterio for the last time, I think the last thing I want to hear are the words Peter Tingle. I would have just had Peter say something as simple as focus Peter, or I would have just had him take a deep breath and say nothing. Using a joke in a serious moment cuts out all the dramatic tension in the scene. I'm not taking this into consideration for my overall thoughts on the movie, but the post credit scenes are a little fucking lame. I hate that Fury is a scroll and it sort of ruins all of his interactions with Peter because they no longer have much weight to them anymore. I didn't even stay for the post credit scene the second time I saw the movie. It's just better to watch Far From Home with the perspective that Fury in that movie is actually Fury. I'll live in fucking denial for the rest of my days, I do not care. Also the J.K. Simmons cameo is lame because it's not given the same style of writing as the original Jameson. I don't think Jameson works in this universe the way he works in the Raimi universe and I just kinda hope he's a one-off sort of thing. Also, holy shit, there is some truly awful stuff happening in the bar scene with Mysterio. Whose idea was it to add the fucking Iron Man 1 extra and do an Adam McKay zoom on him and the others? I know I asked for more visual style from John Watts, but not like this. Not like this. Hey guys, I have some social media on the screen. Subscribe, hit the bell, and farewell.